Alrighty guys, it's time for another junkyard update. The only reason I'm doing it now, because I don't normally do one around this time of year, is because of just the absolute volume of machines I have right now. So I think you guys are going to want to see. Starting on this side, Plant Junior Super Tough, he's still here. There's my 1257 frame that I have to work on at some point. There's a nice pan seat. I've been looking for a pan seat. Um... C100 frame, vertical shaft snowblower, a bunch of all the random junk, the wheel weights from the farm all, sickle mower from the farm all. That is a C165 that was lifted. That was a nightmare. I did not build that. Um, mid mount grader for the, uh, what's it called there for the farm all? Just a bunch of the random stuff, a bunch of decks. There's a uh, Cub Cadet deck, wheel horse sears, a bunch more wheel horse decks here. Just tons and tons of wheel horse decks. Over here we have another Cub Cadet deck and a John Deere 200 series deck. 10 horsepower Kohler motor. I got that for free. Uh, just a bunch of frames over here, like actual wheel horse frames. There's another one there. Um, and then there's the fuel tanks. We'll get into that in a minute. I want to show you all the tractors that are over here now. You can still see my, my crane is still out here. I really should put that inside, but I don't have any room for it. So here's the C101 parts tractor. I got to get to stripping this thing down because it's it's worthless as a full tractor. Here's a 3128. Actually, a pretty nice machine. Runs and drives, but it has water in the fuel tank. So only running on an auxiliary tank right now. That just needs to flush. But not a bad tractor at all. The Commando V8, this is actually sold. I just have to deliver that at some point. Here's the GT1600. I think I thought this was sold, and the guy just never came for it. Nice running Magnum 18, uh, workhorse tins on it. Not a half bad tractor. Just C160. Again, the guy bought it and just hasn't come and picked it up yet, so that's not a bad tractor. Here's one that I picked up because it had a mid-mount grader blade on it, and I just wanted the grader blade. I didn't care about the rest of the tractor. Um, I actually was just going to go and try and buy just the, uh, the mid-mount he said no i still got a decent deal it's a 1075 that's up for sale i'm just going to drop the price drastically on it because i need it out of my way if not then that nice 10 horse that actually does run and has a brand new starter um generator in the garage for it um i'll probably just put that in another short frame make something with an eight or with a yeah either a six speed or whatever eight speed or a three speed here's a 3108 i don't know anything about it i think i'm just going to strip it for parts uh, it does spin over with uh, compression so maybe it'll be decent I, I, I just don't know c125 this one actually fell and i broke that front spindle but other than that it's not in awful shape i drove way too far for this tractor so that's going to be one that i and it does run i just took the coil off of it that's going to be one that i post up here soon i just need to fix that front spindle here is a 314 8 this one runs and drives as well, but it's the fuel tank grommet went on me and I dumped all my fuel out, which sucked. As you can see, it's just hanging out there. So that needs to be replaced. But other than that, that's a good running tractor. It's a decent machine. C165, just picked this up in Maine. You guys probably saw that last video. 48 inch mower deck. This thing runs, drives, and it's pretty much ready to go. Minus needing a tube in that front tire. There's a 315 underneath this tarp. It's just parts. More parts here, uh, weight box and bucket off of my tractor. Tons of parts in there. There is all my fenders, all my fender decks right there. A dash tower for a short frame. There's more, or not dash tower, a, um, whatever it's called. There are the dash towers. There's hoods. There's actual dashes over there, footboards, more hoods. Here we have a Gravely uh, 8123. 12 horse k series this is actually going to go up for sale I, I just i don't have the time to mess with it i thought i was gonna but i, I just don't so that's going to go up for sale i actually did have it firing over but never fully running my 418 this is just my mud tractor this is going to get fixed up and getting ready to go to pennsylvania with it hydro parts tractor it's like a charger 12 that's a c160 there's a hydro rear end that's good that's a 417 frame. That was good. I pulled the motor out of that for another machine. There are a ton of 317 parts. There's a 318 grill. I know that. Then I have just another couple of frames. Those two are hydro frames. There's a short frame round hood. C101. 418A. That's an automatic 418 with a Briggs in it that I know nothing about. 
Then we got this Kubota G5200. Take a look. It's got the standard three cylinder diesel in there. I think it's like a D600 or something like that. This is again already sold, supposedly. I just gotta wait for the kid to come down this weekend and grab it. Got a Gilson Brothers M7. That's a nice little tractor. I'm really torn on what I wanna do. It's just such a cool machine. I can't bring myself to really selling it, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. That's what I'm looking for that pan seat for, which I didn't know I have two of them over there. There's a Gravely 408, that's gonna go up for sale. I was gonna fix it up, but again, just no time for personal projects really. Then we have a tube frame Bolins, tube frame round hood, round fender Bolins. Pretty nice little machine. Got my Super 12 Hydro Track. Again, supposedly sold. Just going to have the kid come down and grab it. The 54 inch mower deck for my 425. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Then there, these are the new tires for the rear of the 425. Uh, this is my birthday present from my dad. Kind of a weird that they actually have like the metric 305 60 12. It's a 26 12 12 tire. Those are going to look really good on the back of that 425. A 140 parts tractor. I almost tried to resurrect this thing, but I just I just can't. I'm not going to have time, and it's just probably worth more in parts. It actually does run and drive, but whatever. Here's an H3. That's uh, parts as well. I have to pull those rear tires off tonight. Or the, yeah, because the wheels on this are going to be the wheels for that. Here's a 318 with a suspension seat. Runs and drives like on top. I think runs and drives awesome. Uh, this thing's up for sale if you're interested. I'm not sure what it's going to be posted for, but suspension seat. It's actually got a um, Linamar repower. It's got, it says it has 1,700 hours or something like that. Supposedly that Linamar was done about six, 700 hours ago. Cub get at 80. That's up for sale as well. Got a 60 and a 70. Kind of cool to see them together, but I really don't want these anymore. So they are actually up for sale as of right now. I'm going to sell them as a package deal, I think. That one's complete with the mower deck and the motor. This one has been kind of parted out, but not like fully parted out. 2K series box. A wheel horse, the big wheel horse uh, wagon. There's that 317. I'm actually going to put this thing back together. I parted it out, but I think it's worth more together. So we'll probably just put that back. Here's a 110 frame. Here's a Craftsman cart that I got and I got to put up for sale probably tonight or tomorrow. Here's the snowblower for that Gravely. Um, and then there's the other snowblower. That's a parts one. This one does have the full drive shaft. I just don't know where I put it. Just over here, we have a little Briggs and Stratton. Eight horse. I probably would have run. I just, I don't really like Briggs and Stratton's. Upside down plow. That's supposed to be in the plow pile, but it's not. Those are the tires for my 120 patio. Got the Yanmar tractor. Got the Duramax mud mower. All my tires are over here. Not all of them. I got a bunch more upstairs that I just picked up. Uh, but a bunch of tires are sitting over here. Bones tube frame plow. There's a Sears rear grader. Here's a... Brindley rear grader blade, a Brindley plow that's labeled wheel horse, a bunch of truck tires and wheels, the back rack for one of the trucks, two more plows, the back one's mine, the front one's sold, more tires over here, my Model 50 John Deere cart, I actually really like this thing, it's so cool with the hubcaps and everything, it's a, it's a nice looking little, little cart. My snowblower, that's brand new, it should not be outside. Uh, just a bunch of random stuff over here, wheel weights and things of that nature, lead weights, stuff like that. Here's that 425, if you guys didn't see the last video. She got a little scraped up on the ride down. I think something was rubbing right here because that's all new, but I just drove it around. Running drives it pretty good. So that's what those tires are going to go on. And over here, we just have another Brindley plow and just a bunch more miscellaneous junk. There's the actual like front mount piece for the 54 deck for the 425 so we'll just leave that over here to put it together and that's about it guys this is the most tractors i've had i believe i counted 40 30 or 40 down here just in inventory alone um i mean you can just see how many there are there's tons one thing i did forget to mention too is i actually have a new loader 
tractor. Let's take a look at that. If you guys don't follow the Instagram, this is my 2032R. Beautiful little tractor. Does a great job with the tiller and really just makes life a hell of a lot easier. You guys are going to get to see a full review and tour of this tractor like I did with the 1025 that I traded in. Um, also, new decals. New decals are, uh, are here. And um, I've already done a giveaway. I just shipped out the decals to the first winner. And we'll probably do another giveaway or two coming up here in the coming weeks. So, yeah, there you guys go. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Instagram, it's same thing, Ben's Vintage Tractors. And TikTok, it's also Ben's Vintage Tractors. Um, there's a lot more in-depth content on this channel on YouTube than there is on the TikTok or the Instagram. So if you guys want to see in-depth stuff, come take a look on this page. But thank you guys for watching, and uh, have a good one.